Hello people. Time for me to drive. Driving through Dagnum. I think it's Dagnum. Yeah, I guess it is. Um driving back from visiting my girlfriend on my trusty scooter as it is the cheapest mode of transport. Um Yeah, this video. <laughs> oh funny sorry, on the way sorry one sat here in my face. Flipping long hair. Don't have long hair. Don't have long hair and drive a bike. You're pretty much blinded. Anyway, yeah, funny story. Driving on the way here, I was driving down a road up ahead. Quite something up ahead with no hands. And I was driving down the road doing, uh, um, say, 30, yeah, with no hands. And, uh, like, you know, because I'm totally cool like that. And uh, the amount of weird looks I was getting of people. Like people like just thinking, are you crazy? And I'm like, yes, yes I am. But you know, oh, got a text message. I have to wait. Ah, <sighs> dear. Usually I wear gloves, but I'm not wearing gloves today. To or well, this time, due to the fact is, you know, I'll, my hand I feel better when I'm not wearing gloves. Although, and that's safer if you do. I'm not wearing gloves, so that makes it easier doing the uh, signals. And uh, yeah, I just feel more comfortable. And around this area where, where I'm now, it's like full of chaps, and I hate it. I just hate. I, I hate with England full stop. <laughs> mm. But, you know. I was born here, so you can't. Lately I've been playing Homefront, you know, pony noobs, because I'm like totally cool like playing that online and it's actually quite good online. But you get all these noobs that like get a sniper rifle and that's it, they just hide in the rocks sniping. And uh, so it just really pees me off, so all I do is just call an airstrike and blow the shit out of them. <laughs> but, uh, so like, on that game what people tend to do is they'll have like a sniper rifle handgun like usual and they'll have um well they usually have this like mini helicopter that shoots that has a machine gun and a rocket launcher attached to it and then they just like stay on top of a rock shooting people it's gay so yeah and then I, I use the assault rifle class and i use the uh what do I use? I think it's the, what's some sort of scope, I can't remember what it's called, reflex dot, or red dot sight, that's it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good, it's, it, the game itself ain't that bad, it could be better, but graphically, single player on it is the best graphics I've seen on the game so far, um, it's a really enjoyable campaign, a bit too short for my liking, because I completed it in just two sittings. Like, I played it one day for two hours and the next day for three hours and that was it, campaign over and done with. And if you play the campaign without trying to get the achievements, you'll get about maybe 190 gamer score, <laughs> which isn't a lot at all. And then obviously you've got to go back and complete each level without dying and complete each level on the hardest difficulty. Then you've got to collect all the hidden items. But on my first playthrough I collected 40 out of 61 straight away <laughs> but they're not that hard to find so all you got to do is look around and see a massive golden newspaper like it's just glowing gold 
<laughs> so it's pretty easy to find and if you've got like a smartphone that can scan barcodes as well there's these hidden easter eggs that are just pardon all it is is just you take a photo of it and it takes you to a website so like one of them you took a photo of it and it took you to uh, a video of this ma of this school say in the American National Anthem or, no the, uh, no that's it sorry not National Anthem it's like I pledge allegiance to the flag or whatever saying that I don't know how it goes because I'm not American yeah but you play it online you get a lot of kids on it a lot of kids so yeah and if you kill them like they just bitch <laughs> also a good thing about that is when you get kill streaks it's not like kill streaks per se it isn't like you kill 20 people and you get harrier strike or whatever you kill you can kill die kill die sort of thing but beans you get xp per no points sorry per kill you get so if you uh, collect the points and let them build up say you get a thousand points it allows you to um, get a uh, like a, ro a plane that shoots out two rockets and it's really shit though it really is but um, yeah you get uh, I think it's 108 points per kill 190 points if you get a headshot kill um, you get 208 points though if you use this little drone and mark out the enemies where they are and get assists you get quite a lot of points uh, but as an overall game, graphically, I'd give it like a a nine out of ten. Gameplay, I'd give it a seven out of ten. But it's not it's not a bad bad game. Really could be better. Um, yeah, so that's my opinion on that. And uh, now for the PlayStation Network's back online, I want to start playing Infamous, but I just I just can't play the PlayStation. It just bores me. The the controller hurts my hands, and my hands are too big for the controller. So I can't really. Pl I'm screwed in that sense of playing games. So I could play it for about an hour, then I'll have a dead hand. Uh, I, I don't know. The graphics are good because they're the same as the Xbox. It, and the people that say the PlayStation's got better graphics or the Xbox's got better graphics are stupid. They just are. They both got the same power. Um, the Xbox has DirectX and the PlayStation has motion smoothing. And, uh, but yeah, it's just the same. Same, same crap, different name. It all does the same. I'm gonna overtake this car. Yeah, so, and uh, I've played Burnout Paradise on the PlayStation 3, and uh, it's bizarre because I'm actually getting hooked on the PlayStation 3 version, even though I have the Xbox version. I don't know. <laughs> um, the trophy system on the uh, PlayStation, yeah, I, I don't like it. What the fuck is she doing? Yeah, sorry, this woman behind me, like, coming right out of my mouth, as you can see there. Oh, fuck it. So, come, oh, God, I hate when people do that. They just drive right up my ass, and I'm like, I'm on a scooter here. Fuck off. <laughs> it's like one day I'm just gonna stop my scooter, my diddy little scooter, get off it, and beat the shit out of whoever's annoying me. It's like my rage builds up when they do that. Oh, sorry, I'm getting angry. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, don't worry. She'll probably die of cancer or some shit. <laughs> Because I'm a I'm a person that believes in uh, if you do something bad bad things will happen to you. Which uh, yeah, because I've done I do bad things and bad things happen to me, so I can only assume. And when I do good things, bad things still happen to me. Oh <laughs> dear! Uh, come on, come on! Farmer Joe coming through. Gotta go plow my fields on my scooter. Come on, me lover. I've 
it up to morning, you know, rake the field, Jebediah's hacking the weed. Uh, um, don't ask me, I'm doing a, a farmer's voice due to the fact that one of my friends said, you, ha you can do a good farmer's voice. I'm like, no, nah, I can't, sorry. <laughs> I don't go up here just crossing the road, just use a crossing, there's a crossing like 12 more steps down the road, just use that. <laughs> Fucking crazy man. Oh I know, I'll just cross the road and get hit by a car, then it's the car driver's fault and his insurance goes up and then I make I make a claim saying it's not my fault that I got hit by a brum brum. Don't ask, I'm rambling on. Ooh, nice ass. <laughs> The younger woman, the one on the left, not the older lady. <laughs> oh dear. All I have to say is I hope my girlfriend don't watch these videos because uh, I've done I've done uh, about twelve videos, but I could delete them and redo them because I'm not happy with them. And on quite a few of them, I'll be staring at other women. <laughs> Isn't my fault. I'm only a hu only man. Don't say thanks, do you? Oh no, don't thank the little scooter. Oh well. So, yeah, this video I'm going to have to end it now, but I'll be uploading it to YouTube tomorrow if I can be bothered. Uh, then, so, it was nice talking to all you new noob tubers. But I'm going to have to go now, because I'm almost home. I just got to go. Cross the bridge, defeat the troll, deliver the ring to Frodo. Then I'm home. And once I've done that, I've got to go and fight off a horde of a million goblins. <laughs> Sorry, went a bit off topic there. Anyway, time to go home. See ya.